So clearly the world is changing. Social media is here and everybody's so darn scared. You know, what does that mean? I mean, I really don't care what you call it, but clearly there are two-way conversations going on on the internet and brands are being built differently. And as we go into 2009 and beyond, the eyeballs are being stretched from what was just, you know, radio, or actually that was ears, you know, newspapers, and then television for such a long time, and then more channels of television. But now with the internet age, so many people are spending more time on their computer than in front of television. The way brands are gonna be built is going to change because where the eyeballs go, brands go. And what do these brands have in common? Well, what I think they have in common is they have to realize that in 2009 and beyond, they've got to look at the way they build their brand and interact with their people is like the difference between giving a presentation and working a room. So what does that mean? These brands, especially old school brands like Cracker Jacks, for example, have spent years and years and years understanding that they give presentations, right? They buy, they buy a newspaper ad or a magazine ad, they have a presentation, you consume it, you see it, it was a presentation, that's where the conversation ended. You didn't talk to Cracker Jack himself, you didn't talk to you know the Cinnamon Toast Crunch dude, you didn't talk to them. It, they told you something, you absorbed it, whether you liked it or not, that's how you made your decision. Well. Just like if in a conference where somebody gives a presentation and then goes out backstage and is out in the limo and off to the races, you know, you loved it, it was a great concert, maybe a great presentation, but there was no conversation after. In my opinion, using things like Twitter and Facebook and things like Ustream and YouTube and things like Vidler and Vimeo and things like StumbleUpon and Dig and, all, and then blogs and all these tools and websites and all the things that are about to come in the future is like working a room, unlike giving a presentation, working a room is going in and having mini conversations with lots of different people. If it's a huge room, lots of mini different conversations. Oh, I think your logo sucks. Oh, I think your logo's awesome. Oh, I didn't like that flavor. Oh, I love that flavor. And gathering all that information. And the quicker brands like this understand that they need to start working the room instead of giving presentations, they're gonna be the ones that win. And now the problem is, there's so many CEOs and CMOs and chief marketing this and that and this in these companies that really don't care about you know, General Mills, or they don't really care about Nabisco. They worry about their stock price, they worry about their cash out, and they worry where they're moving on to in three years, and that's why a lot of big brands are gonna lose. But these small, nimble companies are going to be creating, you know, marketers, people come together from big companies, they're gonna be the ones that create the next Red Bull or the next vitamin water. And the reason they're gonna be able to do that is because they're gonna network and work social media. And here's what's sexy compared to Red Bull and vitamin water. The cost of the next big brands in beverage and in chips and in ketchup. Their cost is just their time. They just have to care enough to work the room.